Here's Papa. Hello, 45 Alpha Charlie Papa channel, and today we are going to paper patch our bullets for the Martini Henry. Now we've got some Lee bullets here that we cast up. Uh, that one's a little wrinkly. Uh, I got some better examples here. This one's a little nicer. Um, but these are 450 grain, uh, 400, 4.457 diameter. Now the uh, the mold was a little oblong. Um, they weren't quite exactly round. Um, so I went ahead and got a 457 sizing die and si made sure that these are sized properly. Um, these should be a good bullet out of the Martini Henry. Uh, I choose this chose this because these this mold is commercially available. It's relatively inexpensive. Um, I think I paid about twenty five dollars for the the bullet mold and another twenty five or so for the sizer. Um, so we've only got right now about fifty dollars into what I needed to make the bullets. Now I knew that these were a little small and they needed to be paper patched. So first thing I did is I tried to paper patch with some copy paper and I knew it was probably going to be big and as you can see there we are sitting at 470 which is way bigger than we want to be uh, everything I'm reading all the research I've done tells me I should be uh, at max 468 so we're about two uh, thousands over and I don't want to run that through oh you know this old bore um, so we're going to go ahead and we'll take this jacket off here, this paper patch, and we are going to go to a little thinner paper, this line paper here. So we're going to cut some patches out, then we're going to roll them and kind of give you an idea how how this process works. Like I said, I just started doing this. This is not uh, you know something that's going to be very quick. Um, I'm just going to I, I will edit this to for time constraints, but um, just wanted to kind of show you the process as to how I'm doing it how I'm figuring things out. Now the the paper on there, it's it's on that bullet pretty good. Um, go ahead and pull this off. And it will roll off and it's still got that, that curl to it. So um, it works well. Um, you don't need a whole lot of water. Uh, actually, I'm using my own spit on this. It's kind of gross, I know, but uh, it, it seems to work for me. Um, but we'll go ahead and get some patches cut and then we will uh, roll our own. The nice thing with this line paper is that it looks like my patch is right around three wide and I think that's where I'm going to end up making them. Um, these were maybe just a tad uh, long but I think three wide will be uh, just perfect for what we're trying to accomplish. wish I had a you know a paper slicer but all I've got is scissors so this is stuff that you don't have to spend a whole lot of money on and the whole idea with this project was I I wanted to do this on a budget and I don't want to have you know $120 wrapped up in a bullet mold for a bullet now this is a little bit more traditional way of doing it take our pencil here we'll get this lined up and you know I haven't figured out where I'm gonna you know I'm gonna waste a little paper here but that's okay um, as I play with this some more and I come up with uh, different ways of of doing this uh, I'm sure the it will get better Okay, we'll cut these out and we'll put it around the bullet and see if uh, we're good or if we've got any overlap. I did have a little bit of overlap with the other one. I don't understand. I cut all the patches the same, but every once in a while I got some overlap. So let's take a look, see how we're doing here. Since this paper is a little thinner, I may need to shorten it a little bit. Now 
I'll test these out for size. The other thing you need to uh, be conscious of is the twist of the barrel. This is a left hand twisted barrel so the bullets are going to going to spin counterclockwise. So we want to make sure that these are in a counterclockwise So that as that bullet's spinning, it's spinning counterclockwise and not unraveling the patch. Um, yeah, that is that is going to be over. I'm going to have to make that just a tad a tad shorter. And you just kind of have to play with it. Um, and since I knew that this might have had to come a little shorter, that's good. That's probably maybe a little too short, but I'd rather have a little bit of a gap in there than uh, have an issue. Just got to make sure you get your bullet board in the right orientation here. Um, I think I'm going to like the lined paper a little bit better because it seems... It's going to be easier to keep it to go straight by matching up the lines. Let's see. Oh, that's good. Yeah, there, there's just a, a tad bit of a gap there, but that's that should not matter. Um, I'd rather have the, the little gap there, maybe a a dip in the in the paper patch than a lump in the paper patch and make it a. So that should. That should work out pretty good. I'm put this up to my template here, and I'm going to mark it. I'm going to leave the line to know that I don't need to take all that material off. There we go. Okay. And let's get this one. Let's cut this one down just a hair too. Alright. Like I said, it was just a tad big, so. We've got our patch. I put it in my mouth here, get it wet. I know lead and mouth and stuff, but just the traditional way. Some of the guys have got water and sponges. And you just want to get it moist, just to the point the paper's just a tad saturated. And I like to stick the quarter. Over the edge, just to tear it, so I can grab it. Let's get that on there. And let's see if we can't keep this straight. There we go. All right. Once we get her patched, just fold the edges over and set it aside to dry. And repeat the process. I mean, just kind of keep it tight. The nice thing I like about the line paper we're doing this is that I can kind of keep an eye on where the lines are and try to keep everything straight. I was having a little bit going off every once in a while um, with the other, with just the plain paper. And I can use that line as a guide. They've got the, the top of the bullet here. And I find that using like a Formica top or a hard top like this seems to work really well. Um, you get a nice smooth surface to roll these on. 
Okay. We got another one. It's just to kind of get an idea. And these are probably might shrink just a little bit, but let's put the put the caliper on there. And we are at uh, with this paper so far we're sitting there at 465. We are at 457 to begin. We're 465 now. That's a good starting point. If we need to find another paper that's maybe just a tad thicker, we can. But I think this is going to be a really good starting point for us. Um, we're not going all the way up, but we're not staying all the way down either. So we will continue to mark these out. We'll continue to make some uh, some patches here. But just thought I'd go over kind of how I'm doing it right now. It is kind of slow going, to be expected. Um, this is you know, my first time doing this. I haven't got my processes down may need to see you know Try some different papers and stuff see if I can find something that that's going to come closer to that 468 but at 465 um, I am pretty happy uh, With that uh, that gives me a starting point uh, something that's not oversized um, And gives me an idea as how the well this gun may shoot and if I need to go up One from there I can um, I may even be able to go Three times around I don't know if I want to do that but we'll uh, I haven't I've heard two times around is what you need to be so we'll give this a shot and uh, see what happens this is 45 Velvet Charlie Papa channel and I'm out thanks for watching please subscribe